what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a I wanted to call it like a let's chill type of makeup like you can wear this makeup or you know you can wear a hat if you want to go out and chill lately I've been into hats especially this fog leather hats um and honestly I just feel as the awesome thing about being a girl is that you can play around with your makeup your hair with everything and honestly I just wanted to um, name this makeup tutorial let's just chill type of makeup look you know it's just a chill makeup and you have a hat on and if you have the up uh, the blessing of having this gorgeous hair like this and girl bless you if not if you're like me then hell just put a wig on it and throw a hat and no one needs to know <laughs> so if you want to see how I achieve this easy less chill makeup look all you have to do is keep watching all right so we're gonna start off on this wide ass pale face of mine <laughs> I'm first going to go ahead and moisturize with my moisturizer this is a cleaning dramatically different moisturizer and then I'm going in with my Nivea Pulse a Balm, Shape Balm, sorry. And this has worked wonders on my skin when it comes to primer. Then I'm actually taking an additional step. And this here is a concealer just to hide those dark under eyes because I have a lot of very heavy dark under eyes. Then I'm going in with my foundation, which is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible. And I've been loving this foundation lately. The coverage it gives me is amazing. Um, I do set it with powder. So I'm not all into that glow, dewy skin type of thing. So please, you know, because people just go crazy. Then I'm going in with the NYX Stay Matte But Not Dry, I think it's called. Um, but not flat, I'm sorry. Uh, foundation, powder foundation. Just to pretty much set the foundation. And also gives me a little bit more of a full coverage look on my face. Then I'm going in with the Kat Von D Luck It. The new concealer that came out. And this is my second time using it, ladies. And so far, so good, honestly. So I'm just applying it as a triangle like usually I do and that uh, normal on the bridge of my nose and a little bit on the shin and all those areas. And I'm just here using a Real Technique foundation. Um, I think it's called the Face Expert Brush. And I'm just pretty much um, making sure that it sits well on my skin. And then we're going to go ahead and bake our face off. And I am using the Aspirin um, Loose Powder, Translucent Powder that you can find at Walgreens. And I'm just pretty much applying it the areas where I want to bake my face, okay? Then I'm going in for eyebrows. Eyebrows make me so excited, as you can see. And I use the new Benefit uh, Brow Pencil, which is amazing. And then I did that off camera because my camera was in, like had a lot of batteries. So here I'm just pretty much dusting all the powder off. And I'm going in with the MAC Dusty Ro um, Desert Rose. I'm sorry, Desert Rose blush and I'm using that as my only eyeshadow color yes this look only has one eyeshadow and that's how excited I am I'm just using a blending brush and I use that all over my lid and also I am using a brown pencil and I'm just applying it on very close to my lash line and I'm using this Maybelline precise brow it has a spoolie on the other side with like a dark brown color and all I'm doing is smudging that liner just to make it look a little bit more smoky and not so intense like I actually have like liquid eyeliner or something like that and then just a little bit of mascara and I actually apply falsies on this look I applied the Demi Wispies by Ardell which is like an everyday lashes and here I'm using the Urban Decay Beach Bronze Bronzer and I'm using that to pretty much contour my face the temples of my face and all that good stuff and then then I'm using the blush actually for my cheek so I'm using the blush as my blush <laughs> and then I'm using here the um this is the Becca Prosecco pop and champagne pop as my highlight and please do not forget your bottom lashes <laughs> okay then I'm going with the NYX lingerie 07 this is my all-time favorite nude lipstick and then I'm topping it off with the Anastasia lovely liquid lipstick Yes, baby. And that's it. This is all you get. And here is the completed look. I transformed myself. <laughs> this is the completed chill look. I really hope you guys like this look. Very easy to do. So I hope 
makeup look. It was so much fun to do because honestly when I just put makeup on and when I put on my wig, I just transform and I just love being a girl because I enjoy having a good time transforming myself. Like literally this person is not the same person you saw at the beginning of the video before I put the makeup on. So that's the awesome thing about being a girl. You can definitely, girl, take it there and slay. <laughs> and I love this the freaking wig like this wig is from Donna Love Hair I'm gonna leave all the information down below it was custom made for myself and I absolutely love it look how long it is and it's that blonde yes eventually I want my hair like this anyways so if you like this video um everything that I'm wearing including the hat the um extension I'm sorry the wig and the shirt because you guys always ask I'm gonna leave all that information down below and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hello, go ahead and do so. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Mwah. Be so this. Be blessed, precious pearls. I will catch you ladies on my following video. Bye. And only you can take me down. You can take me down. Okay, Jack.